Hey, what's going on? My name is Rick and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and stop your breathing when you're actually recording. And right now I'll be showing you how to do this in OBS, but more than likely whatever recording type software you're using, it'll work the same way. I'll be showing you one important uh, topic here, which is which are called noise gates. Let's get into it. Alright, so first step is first, you need to figure out if your current uh, piece of software supports noise gates. And before we get into the actual configuration here with OBS, I want to go ahead and say why you need to use a noise gate. So a noise gate pretty much works like a valve. And depending on where the sound, uh, you want to open up the valve or close the valve. So say for example, uh, if you want the, the valve to open at a certain decibel, then you want to go ahead and set the decibel at that specific point. So why is this useful? This is useful if you're recording podcasts, doing YouTube videos, or if you're simply trying to record some type of sound, but you don't want to get any of the background noise. So here's a good example here. As we're looking at the software here, you can hear, you can see here that we have mic and aux. And if I stop talking, it goes all the way down to zero, as you see. And this is because I have a noise gate applied to here. So if you go in here and you click on filters, you'll see that I have this noise gate here. And the closed threshold is at 32 decibels. The open threshold is at 26 decibels. And you can go ahead and, and set when the, the hold and release time are actually happening. And, and these are in milliseconds. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this one. I'm going to click close. And if I stop talking, you can see that the microphone, I'm going to go ahead and stop talking now. You can see that the microphone is actually bouncing back and forth because it's actually picking up the ambience of the room. So if you go back in here and we pick, put it, select the filter, we're going to go ahead and add a filter and we're going to add a noise gate. Click OK. And as you can see here, it gives you the default here for the, for the thresholds. Those look good to me. I'm going to click close. And as you saw right there, if I go ahead and stop talking, the, 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 the entire uh, sound from the microphone goes ahead and stops. So I'm going to go ahead and stop talking now. You see, we're no longer picking up the ambience of, of, of the sound in, in the room. So why is this important? This is important because if you're, if you're planning to do record someone or if you're going to do recording, you want to make sure that the noise gate is set to only record the person that's speaking. Why is this important? This is important because it allows you to, to remove any of the background noise. Specifically for me, uh, I do, uh, in this channel here, I do a, a pretty much an hour of me typing out sales copy for different products that, that, that are related to software. And, and when I'm doing this is I'm usually talking, but at the same time, because these are so long, it takes, you know, 30 minutes up to an hour of me just talking, sometimes you start hearing my breathing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and breathe here and you'll see that that right now it's going to actually go pick up the actually pick up the sound because uh, it's actually right now we'll pick up the sound because I'm using a different sc uh, screen recording software here to, to record this actual screencast. But if I was to use OBS here, which is typically what I use, I wouldn't have that sound issue. So I'm going to go ahead and 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 show you here me actually breathing, which you will actually be able to hear me. And then we'll go ahead and do a recording of me breathing with the noise gate applied. So I'm going to go ahead and just breathe here. And now we're going to do an OBS recording with the noise gate applied. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording there now. Now I have a recording there with OBS of me breathing, and the microphone's not picking up any of the any of any of, of the sound of actually me uh, breathing. So that's all there is to noise gates. They're great for you to be able to remove ambient sound. They're great for you to remove things such as breathing from actual recording sessions. And overall, they're great if you know how to use them. So make sure that uh, you you get the right decibels. Uh, set up once you actually want to actually figure out what, what parts you do want to record and what other parts you don't want to record. And if you don't know exact the, the exact decibels, I'll recommend you to download, go on the app store and, and download an app, an app for your Android and iOS device and then figure out what the decibel, what your baseline of, of sound is. And then from there, adjust the settings in whatever software application you're using to record the sound. So that's all there is to this video. If you found it useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.